that my real one Still by me and you never switched up Even in all the times I messed up Yeah, yeah, you were one in a million And that my What's up, YouTube? I'm back from the grave. I feel like I only missed one week and I'm so disappointed in myself. So I missed you guys. I'm back with a new one. Um, I'm here to show you guys how I lay my wigs. I have a lot of flyaways right now. Don't mind them. I usually have baby hairs, but I didn't want to do no baby hairs and they won't fit in my ponytail. But I also don't want to cut them just in case next time I want to have baby hairs, you know? It lays frontal problems, but yeah. I'm showing you guys how I got this style. I don't show you guys how I curl my hair. I do already have a video on that. It's from a couple of years back, but it's still actual and factual. <laughs> so yeah, I missed you guys. I just want to come say hi. Make sure to tell you guys to like, comment, subscribe. Um, tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, I appreciate all the love that you guys are giving me. I read every single comment. Um... I look forward to next Sunday. How about you guys let me know what kind of video you guys want to see next for me. I know spring is coming, but I feel like I have a lot of more winter stuff because it's so cold in Chicago. So stay tuned if you want to see how I lay my wigs. Stay tuned and make sure you subscribe and make sure you watch it to the end, baby. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Okay, so you see how I start off. This is a wig that I apply and reapply. So this is how it looks without me doing anything to it. I'm going to take your Gossip Be spray and you're going to just start to spray all over your cap. Now you see how the cap is positioned on my head? It's all the way literally by my eyebrows. That's very important. You want to make sure the elastic band is pulled all the way down because if the elastic band is needed for your wig to lay it won't be as flat as possible so just pull it all the way down literally over your ears and eyebrows that's important because the elastic band will have to be cut off now I'm going to cut out some slits for my ears just in case I want to tuck my um, frontal behind my ear or my wig behind my ear if you don't do this, it's going to literally just lay over your ear, which is a read. Now I'm continuing to spray the Gossip Beast Free Spray all over the cap to make sure that every nook and cranny has that spray on there before you blow dry. I try to make sure I get by the ears really well because I like to tuck my hair behind my ear and also that's where my wig will start lifting first is usually by the ears. When melting my cap I use the blow dryer on hot and high. Trial and error is key, like that's how I learn. Um, I'm touching my cap so much to see how it feels, and I can literally tell how hard by how hard it would be if it's done or not. And also, if I feel anything sticky, it lets me know that the bow dry a little bit longer. So that's why you see me like filling it out to see if it's dry or if it's to my liking. Now I'm starting to cut the cap. I want to get this as close as possible to my natural hairline. But again, that elastic band, the thicker part of the cap, has to be cut off. It won't cooperate with your wig and your glue. So just cut it all off.
cutting the excess off the cap is the most time consuming part but it is also very necessary to protect your hair. Alcohol is very important, so that's what I'm using right now to wipe down my face. You always want to apply alcohol before applying your lace glue, and I do recommend that you have a bare face in order to um, apply your wig. I have on makeup because I want to show you guys on camera, but I usually do this with no no makeup on, and it helps my wig stay probably for about two to three days without any lifting. The setting that I use for when I'm blow drying the glue is low and hot. That's very important. Do not put it on high and hot. It will not come out right. You can add an extra layer if you like. I do. I like to do up to three layers if I want it to be on for like a week straight. But at least do two because one I feel like you just never know two you're a little bit more sturdy and three is on there it ain't going nowhere I start in the middle with my glue I know people sometimes put it all on at one time I am not like that I start in the middle and then I do my edges okay so I pin the hair back with some hair clips to make sure that the hair doesn't come in contact with the glue I press her down and then I use anything with my finger to make sure that she's pressed all the way down so I'm using a comb and then I will blow dry on again low and hot So I start to do my sides, put the glue down, I'm going to do two layers on the side again, and I'm going to blow dry on low and hot. Then I'm using a bobby pin to see how tacky the glue is, and see, like just to rub it in. Just use anything but your finger, something that's clean, something that can move the glue around. But you don't want to use your fingers because the oil on your fingers will cause the glue not to be as sticky as possible. Now the other side, I'm going to do two layers on that side as well. This is how it looks when I'm all done. Now this is two days later, um, the day I actually styled it. Uh, I'm just going to show you how I do the half up, half down. Start off with brushing it, detangling your hair. 
I'm using a rat tail comb, just making sure that I'm parting um, my frontal where you can still see some of the lace, but also enough to cover um, the tracks in the back. This is not a full lace wig. This is a wig that I made. So it's a frontal in the front and then bundles in the back. Now I'm using some open bobby pins in order to uh, make my ponytail fuller. These are just some tracks I had laying around. Um, it is human hair. So I have a lot of hair. I'm sorry. I just be buying hair and I just find it. Or I'll even just save it if I don't. I can't add it to a wig. Just for times like this. I hate a stingy ponytail. I'm just going to wrap the tracks around the ponytail and as I wrap I'm going to put bobby pins in to make sure that they stay in place. The hair stays in place as I wrap it. I got these for 99 cents at the local beauty supply stores. I call them hair balls. And you just literally wrap them around your head like you see me doing. And it just adds a little cute little retro flair. I did curl my hair off camera. I do have a video for that. It's called Back to School Bombshell Curls. Check that out. Um, but this is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and share. And also subscribe. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye.